Hello again. So today's video is a stationery haul from Gold Spot Pens. I purchased this Quebeco student and it came in this nice little tin. It's slightly larger than the Sport. I also got a sticker so I wanted to put it directly onto my bullet journal. Here's the size comparison of the Sport and the student. It's, they're just really nice tins. I chose this pen because it sort of reminded me of Sailor Jupiter's like transformer. <laughs> Um, I really am loving this like gold accent. I usually prefer silver accents when I pick out a Quebeco pen, um, but I always usually pick a medium sized nib. So here are my different Quebeco pens. I have a Perkyo and a medium and one of many Quebeco sports, but this nib isn't abroad. But the size comparison shows that the student is in between. And I do love that this one comes with a clip already on the cap and it's in a fancy style. Next up is a Conklin um, All-American in black. The case is really fancy. It has like this plush leathery feeling to it with a nice soft interior and it gives me information on the flex nib that I purchased. I really wanted to test this out. Oh my god, this nib is huge compared to the Quebeco's nibs. And I just kind of wanted to swatch out all of my currently inked pens so I can get an idea of what colors I would like to put in these two new pens. I'm trying not to have too many pens inked up, but it's very difficult to like choose because like I said, I like to match my inks with my pens most of the time, but most of my other pens all match the color of the body of the pen. So I wanted to find an ink that I didn't already have inked up currently and choose one to match these two new pens. So I referred to my new catalog and kind of, I was kind of upset because I didn't, I couldn't recognize which ink I put in my mini Moon Man. And at first I thought it was Enchanted Ocean, but I believe I switched it out with Aurora Borealis. But I was getting really confused because it kind of looked like Walden Pond. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to look through my catalog and see which ink I would put in the body of these pens for the Conklin. I decided on Walden Pond because it is a dark ink and it has a nice sheen to it. And I thought it would be nice, like this is one of my favorite inks, and I thought it would be nice with this flex nib, which you can see that there are there is variation within my strokes, but I'm still not really sure how to properly use it because I'm not that great at, you know, calligraphy style handwriting, if that's kind of what it is. The medium nib on my student pen, which I the, filled with Diamine Salamander, is a little scratchy compared to my other medium sized nibs, which is kind of frustrating because I don't normally have this issue. I usually have this issue with fine size nibs, but I think it should correct itself over time. At least that's what I'm hoping because I don't think there's anything really wrong with this nib. I just think it needs to be used. And then as an added bonus, there was a promotion of some sort and they gave me this ballpoint, Schaefer ballpoint pen in green or forest green or something for free. So I said, why not? It's green and it actually writes really, really well. As far as ballpoint pens go, this is a really decent pen. I love flowy inked pens and I'm glad it came with black ink versus blue because I would prefer black over blue. I really wanted to purchase these pens and support a small business during this time. I know a lot of small businesses are kind of suffering because of this pandemic and I just really wanted to support the stores that I love, which I will probably do a video over all the stationery stores that I'm a huge fan of. And then I wanted to swatch all of my currently inked pens just so I don't run into the issue of not knowing which ink is in which pen which I don't normally have that issue, but it did take me a minute to see which ink was in my mini Moon Man. So I think it's good to just kind of keep a catalog. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're doing well, and I will see you in the next video.